Hi, this is David Quatella, International Brand Strategy Manager with Siemens. I'm here today with George Roscoe, who is our Product Manager for Power Panels and Switchboards. How are you doing today, George? Great. How are you doing today, Dave? Fantastic. George, Siemens plays a large role in mixed-use, large construction type space. Right? We offer lighting panels all the way up to switchboards, but oftentimes there's that gray area mm -hmm. called the P4, P5 power panel, right. which you support. Absolutely. Can you help define exactly what is a P4, P5 power panel and, and how it plays in that mix? Absolutely, Dave. So the way I look at power panels is think of they kind of, like you mentioned, they sit between lighting panels and switchboards. Mm -hmm. And if you think of switchboards, switchboards have a lot of different designs, but one of the core designs is the distribution section. Okay. And the power panel is basically the same design as the distribution section, but it's on its own. So if you have a 1200 amp or less application, uh, a power panel might be a good selection for you. Looking, at from a, looking up from the lighting panel, if you have more than 250 amp frame feeder breakers, the power panel is probably right for you. The power panel also offers a couple other things that um, are good savings points versus switchboards, such as it has various different heights, such as 60 inch, 75 inch, in addition to the 90 inch. So you kind of think of the different options there. You can actually save yourself some money, you know, 20% cost versus, uh, versus a switchboard. Also, another cool thing it has is that the power panels have different types of enclosures, like NEMA 4X and NEMA 4 non-metallic, which you can't get in switchboards. So they have some more options there. Now, can Siemens help in value engineering? So if if the customer defaults to a switchboard, let's say, is there a way that a Siemens sales engineer or working uh, with the Siemens team help to value engineer it down to a P4, P5 power panel? Absolutely. We're trying to give them some new tools that help them use the power panel more often. One of them is NEC 2014 came out, and one of the new clauses, 240.87, requires some kind of arc flash protection on 1200 amp frame breakers, which can be used in power panels. So we came up with this new feature called Smart DAS, mm -hmm. which essentially allows a maintenance mode for VL breakers which allows you to put, in it, put it now in a power panel to get that savings and that flexibility where you couldn't before. So that's a good option. The second one, this brand new feature we offer is the high density kit or HD kit. And basically that allows you to fit 50% more two pole breakers in a power panel versus before, mm -hmm. specifically targeting the BL and the NGB family of breakers. So you've got your 20% cost savings approximately. You've got your footprint uh, with the high density, the HD, mm -hmm. right? Um, do you have, you have any examples of where we've used some of these P4, P5s with those solutions in applications today? Yeah, one of the most common applications is high-rise buildings where space is at a premium, and also the fact that they have apartments that they want to build. So we have this product called SEM3, which is Siemens Embedded Micrometering Modules, mm -hmm. and putting those in our gear that allows you to monitor feeder breakers takes up space. And so with two pole breakers in our old design, we, couldn't, we had to use sometimes two panels on one floor, which made the electrical room grow. But by using this HD kit, reducing that space by 50%, you can now fit it in one panel, saving between one and $2,000 on the panel, but also save yourself room in the electrical room when now you only need one panel. Okay. So that's been a big saving, so one to $2,000 per floor. Wow, $1,000 to $2,000 uh, savings per floor. That's amazing. Where can our customers get their hands on the solution? So the most conventional way is through Compass, where like you can get your switchboards and your lighting panels. What we've been also doing is adding this to our quick ship type program where we had some success with switchboards where it was taking lead times from five to 12 weeks down to one to two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then additionally, we took some cues from the unassembled panel board program. Now we're offering unassembled power panels where you can get your most conventional designs such as NEMA 1, uh, 40 volt and 208 volt panels, 60, 75 and 90 inch heights. All the different feeder breaker options we have can all be ordered now and stocked to the distributor so that you can get it same day, same hour even. Wow, so is that part of that C-Stock program I've been hearing so much about? Exactly, Dave, it's part of the C-Stock program. So if anything we talked about today uh, you're interested in, I'd either go to your Siemens authorized distributor or your local sales rep and you can get more information on these different features and products. Thanks, George. So just to summarize, in the commercial construction space, your product solutions can range from lighting panels, all the way up to switchboards. And what we're talking about today is that sweet spot, that P4, P5 power panel. With the evolution of smart DAS and the high density kits, you're really able to save not only in space but dollars per floor. Is that right? That's correct. Great, George. Thanks again for the time. I appreciate Thank you, it. Dave.